What's up YouTube? This is Cunningham Cichlids back with another video. So in this video I'm going to show you and walk you through a tutorial of how I make my boxes and how I ship fish. I know there's been a lot of questions and uh, inquiries on how, to sh how you actually ship fish, how do you pack them, so that way they can last at least 3-4 days in a bag. Um, you never know, most of the way I ship is air cargo, but I am shipping smaller fry now, um, 2 day USPS, which seems to be working out okay for the customers that want uh, fish delivered to their door instead of going to the airport. So let's go check it out. All right, kind of a mess back here, but so what I do is I order my boxes on USPS.com. So I order prior, uh, box, box 07 priority mailboxes. Um, they seem to work well for the size, at least, especially if you're shipping uh, a quarter box bag, um, which I will use if I'm shipping uh, up to 10 fry or so, um, especially one inch, they do fine in a quarter box bag. So what I'll do is I'll assemble this box and then I found a company at, uh, right here, aqpg.com. They actually make foam inserts um, for the box number seven. It's the exact same size to fit. So what I'll do is I'll tape a box together, put the inserts in it, and uh, we'll check it out. All right, so we have the bottom of the box taped together, all ready to go. And we have the inserts in, so this is obviously bottom and top are the same shape and then we have the four sides and the four sides you can see interlock um, with each other. So it's pretty snug fit as far as the foam goes. So this inside of the box is perfect size for a quarter box bag and then I'll stuff uh, newspaper around the outside to fill some of the gaps so the fish don't move around um, too often. So let's go catch some fish. Alright, so you see me make the box. You see me put the foam in, showed you what I, where I get the boxes from USPS, where I get the foam from to make the to put in the box to line it with. So now we're going to catch some fish that I'm going to pack up to ship out. So let's go. Alright, so these guys are all caught. So here we have uh, 12 Yissy Chromis uh, species blue tipped. It's a Victorian that's on the care species. So these we're going to pack up to get ready to ship out. So I'll show you now what I do as far as putting oxygen in the bag, how much water versus air ratio and some other chemicals that I use. Okay, so now we got the fish caught. We're going to put them in a bag. So what I use are square bottom, square flat bottom bags. I get my bags from clearbags.com. I find they have the best uh, price for 100 bag lots. Um, I use quarter box bags, I use half box bags, full box bags, I'll use one sixth and one eighth sizes as well, depending on what I pack. So these guys are going getting shipped two day USPS, so I'm gonna use a little bit bigger bag. I tend to overpack my fish just to make sure they get there safely. So I'm gonna use a quarter box bag for these guys, even though they're an inch, they really don't use, need that but I just do that to be safe, so let's pack them up. So we got the big box bag here. We're gonna go ahead and put them in there. So there they are. So one thing I need to do is I need to add more water to the bag. So I'm gonna go back to the tank they came out of and add more water. It's important to use the same water that the same t water from the tank they came out of. I often do, I always do water changes the day before I ship fish. I starve my fish two days as well. So I want to go back to that same tank because I know it's had a fresh water change yesterday to get more water to put in this bag. All right, so we got more water now out of the same tank. And as you can see here, we have not a lot of water compared to the bag size. Keep in mind when you're shipping fish, your customer pays by for the weight. So the more water you put in, the more weight you have. The fish just need to stay wet. 
They don't need to be saturated with three quarters of the bag full of water and then a quarter air. They need more air than water. So I usually try to do a quarter of the bag water and the rest of it air. So let's go and put some more chemicals in here. I, other chemicals I add to the bag. I add cordon fish protector. So I'll put a little bit of that in this bag. I just dump a little bit in the cap and pour it in there. I also use Gordon ammonia remover as well. And I've been using these products for over five years shipping fish and I've never had problems. So we'll put a little bit in the cap. We're gonna dump that in the bag. I also use Ship Shape, which I believe they're not making anymore. So I'll need to find an alternative when I run out. So this, I'm just gonna put a little pinch in the bag for these guys. And the last thing I'll put in the bag is some methylene blue. So, so I'll put a couple drops in there. I use it more for skittish fish, but uh, or you know aggressive fish if they're packed in the same bag. I try not to do that if I don't have to, but um, we'll use some methylene blue for these guys. Put a couple dots in there, a couple drops, and then uh, what we'll do next is we're gonna put some oxygen in the bag. So as you can see, it's not going to turn. It's not going to turn a shade of blue because the methylene blue in it. So we're going to go ahead and uh, put some oxygen in this. These guys. So now we got some oxygen in the bag. Like I said, I like it more. More air, as you can tell, than water. Because they just, fish just got to stay wet. I don't can't stress that enough. Rubber bands, we'll rubber band it. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then now we'll go over and we'll put them in the box. And I'll show you how I put them in the box and put the newspaper around it to fill the gaps. All right, so now we'll go ahead and set up the box. Usually I lay it down inside there. Um, I'll show you guys what I'm done. I feel it, it fits better if I lay it down. Then I'll take some of this newspaper, we'll crumble it up. We'll put it around somewhere on the front. Now we'll crumble some up. Put it around the side. Piece that fell on the floor. We'll put this in here as well. So now what we have. This is them all packed up, ready to get shipped out. So I'll show you the finished product. All right, so here you see the finished product as I've shown you. Here's the bag with the fish, the 12 UC Chroma species blue tip. Here's the newspaper that's not gonna let it, it's gonna keep it in place pretty much. It's not gonna move around. Then we have the lid we put on. It's gonna fit as such. And then we need a The, then we'll fold the box up, we tape it up, put on there who it's going to. Um, I do all my labels on USPS.com, the mail and ship labels. I'll weigh this box out with a postage scale that I have over here to see how much it weighs and we can check that out just to see. Usually they've been weighing about six pounds or so. Um, so that feels about the same. I don't like I said, the shipper pays for the, by the weight, so try not to uh, to load the weight up in the in your bags with water. So we'll turn the scale on. Zeros. The box on there. Actually, this one's 4.8 pounds. So with that, that's how I prep fish for shipping. Um, the links will be in the description to where I get my phone from and of course USPS.com where, where you get the boxes from. Like I said I find box number seven works great for shipping quarter box bags which is what I ship all my fry in for two day um, delivery. So if you have any questions let me know. As always I appreciate everybody watching my channel. Thanks for everybody that subscribed. If you haven't subscribed please subscribe and please hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload videos. And thanks again, I appreciate it.